one of the Pac-10 semifinals. Tonight, let's meet the starting lineup for the eighth seeded UCLA Bruins. At forward, a sophomore from Los Angeles, California, number 23, Andre Patterson. At forward, a senior from Lakewood, California, number 24, Jason Capono. At center, a freshman from Pasadena, California, number 15, Ryan Holland. At guard, a sophomore from Redondo Beach, California, number one, Dijon Thompson. At the other guard, a senior from Oakland, California, number 34, Ray Young. The head coach of the UCLA Bruins, Steve Lavin. And now, let's meet the starting lineup for the fifth-seeded Oregon Ducks. At forward, a senior from San Francisco, California, number three, Robert Johnson. At forward, a junior from Creswell, Oregon, number 33, Luke Jackson. At center, a freshman from Eureka, California, number five, Matt Short. At guard, a junior from Vancouver, Washington, number one, James Davis. At guard, a junior from Blaine, Washington, number 13, Luke Rittenauer. The head coach of the Oregon Ducks is Ernie Kent. Ernie Kent and Oregon, the first fifth seed to win a game in the history of the Pac-10 tournament. Fifth seeds were 0-5 before last night's win over Arizona State. Let's now go to Jim Watson. All right, Fizz, thank you very much. Time now to take a look at our Pacific Life matchup for tonight's first semifinal. And for UCLA, well, how about Dijon Thompson? This is a guy I don't think gets nearly enough pub. He's second on the team in scoring at 14 points a game. Last night against Arizona, 15 points and seven rebounds. Oregon's Luke Jackson has killed UCLA this year 43 points in the two games last night against ASU 17 and 8 and guys of course he is all conference Jim Oregon is 21 and 9 UCLA is 10 and 18 but Marcus how about our Bridgestone game plan I got it right here dog there it is UCLA they've got to relax play loose they got nothing to lose but they've got to defend the perimeter Oregon knocked down their first four shots and that blowout loss of Matt Court. Oregon's got to match the energy of this home crowd, somewhat of a home crowd for UCLA, and then negate the Bruins athleticism by executing fundamental basketball. You gotta box out on rebounds, you gotta stop driving lanes, stop penetration, all that kind of good stuff, Steve. Well, UCLA won their last three games for Steve Lavin after the worst loss of the year, a 31 point, and he called it embarrassment at Matt Court in Eugene. The Bruins then beat Washington State, Washington, and last night, number one, Arizona. Ryan Hollins tried to win the tap, but James Davis stepped in front and pulls off the basketball. Here is Matt Short getting the surprise start, and he flipped it out to Luke Jackson, who was not there. Short getting the start because Ernie Kent wanted someone to match up well with Ryan Hollins. Yeah, and Short, uh, seven-footer himself, long arms, pretty decent shot blocker inside, a little too fancy on that last play. But here's that, uh, one of our key matchup on the floor, Capono going a lot against Luke Jackson, even though Oregon likes to switch. Ray Young outside, and he's way off the right side. Young played a marvelous game last night in the win over Arizona, hitting 17. Luke Jackson left side scores. Jackson had 17 in the Ducks' win over Arizona State. And if you're UCLA, you cannot afford to get into your home run trot back on defense because Luke Rittenauer will gun the ball up the floor and hit open shooters all night long. And that's exactly what Ernie Kent told his guys at practice today as Andre Patterson goes in strong and is fouled. He said, UCLA will hit a lull sometime in this game, and you have to be able to drive through and make quick buckets like this. Well, and Matt Card, Mark, MacArthur Court, March 1st, it was like the first five minutes of that game, and you can't afford, if you're UCLA, 
to get down like you did in Eugene and get yourself out of it, get your confidence down. Andre Patterson, only a 50% foul shooter. He's averaging close to eight points per game. The sophomore from L.A. Washington Prep High School. We believe he's got a marvelous future here. But he misses both foul shots, and Jackson has his first rebound. Rittenauer, one of the outstanding point guards in the nation with the basketball. James Davis, brilliant outside shooter, one of the top in the conference. And UCLA in the zone that Steve Lavin likes to call quicksand. It's kind of a matchup, but sometimes they'll follow cutters through. Sometimes they'll stay in place, try and confuse the offense. Collins rebounds. Davis is missed. Ray Young, middle of the floor, pushing it on Davis. That's a size mismatch. So Young turns and fires and scores. Size mismatch that he's got to milk all night long every time he gets that advantage. The transition to UCLA on that possession, but Oregon also executes extremely effectively in their half-court offense. Don't have a Freddie Jones that can break you down one-on-one, -on -one, but they will draw and kick you to death. Oh, a bad pass by Ridenauer, and Jackson trying to chase it down, and he wins it. Man. The interception. What hustle on the part of Luke Jackson. Great anticipation. And there's Robert Johnson getting fouled, but I thought Jackson played a very underrated game last night. It was his screen yes. that set up Ridenauer's game winner. It was indeed, and then Ray Young had a game winner of his own. This time springs up over James Davis. Ray Young hits the big shot against Arizona. It's in that game in the overtime, the three-point shot over Channing Fry. Rittenauer misses the three. Young chases it down just in front of his coach, Steve Lavin. UCLA 10 and 18 this year, 6 and 12 in the conference. They were the eight seed coming in, and Oregon was the five seed. It is Jason Capona missing for three. Rittenauer quickly four court right. His floater will go. You know, he leans so well into his opponent to give himself some room. He does a great job attacking. He keeps you backpedaling as a defensive player. And if you ever played the game, you know, I don't care how high you jump, it's awful hard to jump when you backpedal. You just can't do it. So that, that nullifies whatever athleticism advantage you might have on Luke Rittenauer. Jason Capono running one-hander, banks it in. Get a big hook shot against the University of Washington, which clinched the spot in the Pac-10 tournament for UCLA. Little Kareem Capono. Oh, this guy's death. I mean, James Davis in two games this year, Marcus, against UCLA. Nine for 14 prior this, to this game tonight. He said he picked it up watching film against UCLA. They don't do a good job getting to him early. When they do get to him, a lot of times their hands on up. They don't contest the shot. Good play. Ryan Holland's inside. And the foul will go against Matt Short. Ryan Holland's first two games. There's the redshirt freshman from Wairika, California. And here's another X-Factor kind of a player. Freshman Ryan Holland's out of Pasadena. Does a nice job, first of all, digging out the pass. But with James Davis, you've got to crowd him. You've got to take another step closer to him if you are the defensive player. Force him to put the basketball on the floor. He's only like 5'2", Steve. What's he going to do when he gets in the paint? 5'1-0". <laughs> His mom and dad are watching, so 5'10". He looks a five, big man. He looks 5'2 to me. <laughs> That's because you're 6'13". Six foot, five, two six foot 13. But you've got to force him to become a penetrator and not let him spot up jump shoot on him. Nice rip by Jason Capone. That's the third turnover by Oregon early in this game. Capone is searching for a shot. Ray Young will take it. And he hits the three. And Oregon wanted to give Young room. He has been so hot since moving to the point guard position, averaging 19 and a half points per game. The last seven. Ian Crosswhite, left hand goes. They've got Crosswhite in for Matt Short. And Ian Crosswhite, I mean, you know, a lot of times you come out here, you sleep on him, but he's averaging nine points a game in 17 minutes a game. He's a very efficient offensive scorer, and one of those kinds of guys who, when he hits his first shot, look out. Young. Woo! Young's feeling it. You know what, Marcus? Some of the shots that he takes aren't the smartest shots, but they're going in in this tournament. It reminds me of an old player I used to play against, World B3, who had those big <laughs> legs, but he would get up so high on his jump shot, it didn't matter who was defending him. He could get up and get a pretty good look at the basket. Good comparison, but they've got to get somebody to stop him right now. Here's a steal by Davis. Floats it inside to Johnson, and Johnson will score. Lloyd Free, I saw him at Guilford in the NAI tournament. He scored like 40 as a true freshman. Wow. I mean, he could fill it up. And Ray Young is in that kind of mindset right now. He's shooting 59% in these seven games. Great drawing of the foul by Ray Young. Just playing a smart, smart offensive basketball game so far. 
He has started it beautifully. Yeah, right here, a little through the legs, a little freeze move, spin, and yaka. That's and our over first James yaka Davis. of the night. <laughs> You'll see a lot of these if you keep shooting like that. I hear a lot of them. And that time, Rittenauer, a little slow in the closeout, and, 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 and he's got to stay aggressive way young. He said he's having more fun playing basketball than he's had since high school. And as Steve Lavin said, he's making me look silly because why didn't I play him at point guard earlier? But Marcus, you and I have both said this is a guy who is not a natural point guard, and he might be one of the last guys you would play at that spot. And, and Steve started him against Cal, and, and, and I even second guessed that move. I was like, Ray Young at point guard, what is he doing? But what happens is when he's got the basketball in his hands as the point guard, he's not as anxious when he gives it up. He knows he's getting back, getting it back. When he's a two guard, he never knows when he's going to get it. So he has a tendency to force and rush there. But he's got that world B free springer. That is a beauty to behold right there. The high leg kick. Yak on Ray Young. So you want to open a checking account? Yes, but I don't want to pay for it. Right. And you want online banking? Right, if it's free. And unlimited online bill paying. I don't want to have to pay for that either. No, no. 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 So you want total security protection on your check card, free? Look, I just don't think I should have to pay for any of it. Neither do we. Free checking plus, plus, plus with direct deposit from Bank of America. Higher standards. With our advanced VTM four-wheel drive system and 240 horsepower engine, you can leave the distractions of modern society behind. Hey, where are you going? I I'm gonna go watch a DVD. Or not. Introducing the pilot built by Honda. Gentlemen! KFC is something unique and exciting. Hot wings. Hot and crispy outside, tender inside. Hot wings only from KFC. Get eight for only $2.99 or 20 for just $7.49. I smell hot wings. Mommy, drive on time. Mommy, come. No. No, no. hold my hand and come. One time. Come with me. With a little expert advice from us, this working mom is protecting three generations of people she loves. All through a benefits plan at work. Welcome back to the Pacific Life Pac-10 tournament on Fox Sports Net at Staples Center. And Ray Young is going off already in this game. And what a strange year it's been for this young man. He began the year at the two, did not play well, spent some time on the bench. When Cedric Bozeman, the point guard, got hurt, while well, it was his time to become number one. They have gone five and two since he took over. And of course, in the quarterfinals last night, sent the game into overtime with that three. Last seven games, 19 points and four assists. And guys, he is just feeling it right now. He's already got 11 points. We just got started. And Jim, he said when he became the point guard, he started thinking more about involving his teammates, and it opened up his scoring. And he said it's one of life's weird paradoxes. Yep, one of the ironies of basketball. You, you give it away, you get it back even more. And that's what he's been doing. And also not playing as anxiously, and he's just on his way to like a huge night tonight. He may drop 40 if they don't adjust defensively against Ray Young out here. I like your philosophy. You get what you give. Cause and effect. We're teaching people tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Last half I'm glad you're listening. Andre Joseph driving in. He can't score. Young high wow. for the rebound. 6-4. He was up over the rim. Now this is the kid out of St. Joseph Alameda who was a McDonald's All-American Ray Young five years ago that I've read so much about. DJ Cummings can win it. Help with races for the basketball but it goes out of bounds it will belong to the arrogant ducks so they're glad that hulkquist <laughs> did not grab it particularly the guys at the scores table. yeah racing that's <laughs> you're kind of liberal <laughs> liberal with the, <laughs> with your criticism of his speed got a plotting toward the ball no he did a good job hustling smart play to back off he's got to be 
Jackson and Rittenauer to generate some offense. We've got Capono. Actually, a matchup zone once again. Again, this is quick sandwich. It's a kind of disguise zone. And zone principle sometimes to follow cutters through. You identify them early and shoot around who you're going to follow through. Jackson misses the three. Young throws it away. Rittenauer with the pick. He's got cross by left. Jackson middle. And Luke will score. Wow, that wanted to come out. Grab the iron. Little Velcro hugged it back home. You had Andre Patterson setting up for an offensive foul at the dotted line. He's got to realize Luke Jackson is smarter than that. He's just not going to come in out of control. You know, get up and contest that wide open 15 foot shot. Helquist blocks the shot of Jason Capone. And I'll be honest with you, I thought there was almost an illegal screen by TJ Cummings because C Capone and Cummings were working the same side and he was just walking to the hoop with them. He's shielding his man, and that, that's a smart play. It's no foul unless it's called. Bulls have gotten very little off their, their underneath inbounds plays. A lot of teams execute to score. The Bulls pretty much just look to execute to get it in. I think you need to look to try and score as many points in many different situations as you can. Patterson can't hold on, almost throws it away and does. And Ridnauer has it. They've got a four on two break. Luke gives it to Jackson. Jackson back to Ridnauer. UCLA with the two against the four denied that. Cross White, he's got some pretty really good footwork. Great footwork. I mean, his dad played professionally down in Australia. His dad was a United States citizen, played professionally in Australia, changed his citizenship. So, I mean, he's got a, got a pretty good tutor all these years of his father, a very accomplished basketball player. Andre Patterson, right hand no, Cross White rebounds. Remember, he had his best game in his career at Pauley Pavilion. That 22 and 12 night. Rittenauer way off with the three. Joseph grabs the rebound, and Helquist can't roll it in. Patterson elbowed his teammate TJ Cummings on the rebound. And Andre Patterson needs help. He needs help on the backboard with this small lineup. And before you have Jason Capono, Dijon Thompson, two guys, six, eight, six, seven, leaking out toward the mid court line, trying to get the fast break started. Secure the rebound first, then worry about the fast break. Thompson with nine on the shot clock. Cummings from 18. Got it. T.J. Cummings played one of the better basketball games I've seen him play against Arizona last night. Yesterday afternoon, 18 points, five rebounds, big shots in the second half. Didn't force a lot of stuff, kind of let the game come to him. And here's D.J. Thompson again. And this is where T.J. is so effective. At 6'10", you have to, you, or you don't expect him to be able to shoot at that kind of range on a consistent basis, but he can knock down that shot. Right on the free throw line, misses the first. Take this opportunity to sign up for the Alaska Airlines Visa Platinum Card from Bank of America and earn miles everywhere you use it. You'll get 5,000 bonus miles upon approval, not to mention 2,000 bonus miles every year after that. So go to alaskavisa.com, pack 10, and take your shot. Cross White, one of two, and Oregon within two of UCLA. And I'm surprised Ernie Kent not trying to apply a little more pressure against Ray Young as he advances the ball past midfield. I prefer getting back near my own free throw line. Thompson missing the three. Jackson rebounds again. Oregon wants to run. The trailer's ridden hour. Young picks him up, though. Joseph. Long. And Cummings rock knocks it right out of his teammate, Jason Capono's hands. We've got a timeout on the floor, 11.47 remaining in the first half. Ian Crosswhite playing strong early. The kid from Australia with five first half points. The persistence of 135 years of experience. The performance that has enabled us to work with more than half the Fortune 500. The strength of one of the largest financial services companies in America. Rely on the strength of Pacific Life. The well has run dry. So, to choose a gatherer, these males use a highly sophisticated method of selection. These guys are my buddies. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Chop, chop, Casanova. Grab a rock. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> 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 what? 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 What
Dude, are you still getting coffee? <laughs> You're supposed to know. What? <laughs> yours? Dude, seriously. <laughs> what? Oh my, that's a pig drinking a cappuccino. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. T-Mobile camera phones. Get more. Takes you inside the world of extreme sports each and every weeknight. Five, four, three, two, one. Weeknights on Fox Sports Net. Right now, all this guy's thinking about is getting home so he can let his dog out. He's late, so it's fair to assume that he's not thinking about his Cooper tires and all they're doing to help him get home. No, all he's thinking about is his new rug and Benny's small bladder. Hold on, Benny. Oh, buddy. Hold on there. Yeah, I'll be home in a minute, buddy. Hold on. We are back, Staples Center, the Pacific Life Pac-10 Tournament. Let's take you around the country. Top seeds, big seeds, high seeds falling all over the country. Case in point, the Big 12. Second half, Texas Tech up by 10 on Texas. Off the inbounds, Andre Emmett. Going to get the ball, score, and one. See you later. Texas, Texas Tech, Bobby Knight, you earned your salary, 92-81, by the way, in the Big 12, Kansas also won, they won by 15, 89-74, you see the Longhorns going down, 92-81, to we'll keep you updated throughout the night, back to the floor, Steve Fiziak. Unbelievable, all over the nation, Wisconsin losing, struggles in the SEC, Florida losing a big basketball game to LSU. And here we go in the first half, and two seeds who were lower than their first-round opponents advancing to the semifinal round in Oregon and UCLA. Of course, the Bruins shocking the world, beating Arizona 96-89 to in overtime. The in cross White has it stripped by Ray Young, who's played a marvelous first half. A good aggressive double by Ray Young. Now, Ernie Kidd is going to put his designated defensive stopper on Ray Young. Now, they're in a zone, but... Andre Joseph is a guy that did a great job on Tommy Smith, the 6'10 power forward for Arizona State. He had 16 points when Andre came in the game. He quieted him down from that point on. And UCLA a little uncomfortable decoding this zone. There's seven in the shot clock now. Young flipping it to Holland. So the result is Holland's taking a short shot, and that's not the look they wanted. Poor job recognizing. You have to get into your zone offense. Get the corner running on the baseline, setting some screens. Meantime, UCLA playing well defensively. They've limited Oregon, one of the top scoring teams in the nation, to 16 in the game's first nine minutes. Once again, UCLA is the matchup zone. Looks like man to man, but a lot of switching on the weak side. Joseph knocks down the shot. We're going to get that and one. They and on the basket. Steve Lavin was arguing with Mark Reisling. Reisling turned and fired the fist down, saying, basket good. They talked with the official, Terry Crispin, who blew the whistle, and he wanted to make sure that Joseph was in the air. Yeah, yeah, that's, what, that's what matters. Is he in the air when the contact is made? Almost. <laughs> he was almost in the air. It was pretty close. Well, you were very liberal with your call. And there is Steve Lavin. He was asked last night how he reacted to the Arizona win. They don't have much time, but he said, it will hit me when I go home and call my mom and dad. I think his mom and dad are extremely proud of the man that he is. I mean, he's handled this whole crisis this year with class and dignity and a wonderful sense of humor. There's UCLA forcing the turnover. Thompson goes behind his back. The result is no points, but a foul on Oregon. Good foul by Jay Anderson. Make it tough in time. Andre Patterson is not a good free throw shooter. Don't give up the dunk shot. Get this crowd all amped up. And Marcus, here's our first virtual coach question. Will UCLA pull off the upset again tonight? Just go online. FoxSports.com on Lycos. The key word is Pac-10. A lot of California Berkeley fans watching last night. All the votes were for the Golden Bears.
moving on, advancing even farther than number one Arizona. And we believe that Arizona will get a number one seed. I mean, they'll be the number one team in the nation because the Associated Press rankings don't come out until Monday, the day after the brackets are announced. We mentioned a lot of the big boys have been knocked off along with Arizona. Cross White with the foul. His first. You know, UCLA, I think they've got to get back into that early game mindset they had where, where, where Young knocking down shots. Of course, to give Ernie Kent a credit, he's got a defender pretty much in A. Young's face wherever he goes when he doesn't have the basketball. Seven seed USC against three seed California. California, the highest seed left. No three seed has ever won this tournament. But when you're feeling it like Ray Young was, you don't cool yourself off. You know, this is, he's not being aggressive enough. He's got James Davis. He can take James Davis to the free throw line, to the 20-foot line, jump over him anytime he wants to. Jason Capono missing the three, but right there, Thompson. One of our keys, negate the athleticism of UCLA. Luke Rittenauer did not block out Dejon Thompson. And a foul on Ray Young. Long jumper, right corner by Capona. You're going to see on the left side of the glass, nobody. And that's written out on that side. He's a smaller man, but he's got the battle. He's got the fight. He's got to put his body on each and every possession. That's what Ernie Kent talked about before the game. That's something, one thing they're not doing this year as well as they did last year. And there are a lot of NBA scouts looking at the talent today. I know Matt Goodness was picking your brain earlier tonight, talking about the talent on the floor that we would see in both games. Talented players here in Staples Center this evening, buddy. Believe that. But once again, Ray Young, James Davis, take him off the dribble, spring, and shoot it. Thank and you. And that was his first shot in five minutes, yeah. and he makes it. He's got to stay. I mean, there's no way a guy 5'2 is going to block his shot. 5'10 is going to block his shot. Ridnauer got in the air, nowhere to go, throws it away. His third turnover, and the team's fifth. And inside is Thompson and UCLA going away. They've got a four-point edge. This was a team that was thrashed in Eugene by 31 points. But the Bruins, they're faithful, alive, and feeling good. And, you know, you, Ray Young right here, I talked about him. you got a smaller man on you, two dribbles, get him on the move. He does such a great job elevating. He can locate late and still knock down the shot. And then Dijon Thompson, nice job in transition. Ryan Holland's a big guy, under control, gives it back to him. UCLA has got to try and convert some buckets in transition instead of going against this tough half-court defense. 5 4 3 2 one the program on Fox Sports Net. It's about extreme sports. BMX rider Kip Williamson, free surfer Chad Towersy, and Leanne Tweet are the experts bringing you the entire world of extreme sports all in one place with breaking news, event highlights, and insider features that you won't find anywhere else. 5 4 3 2 one weeknights at 5.30 and late night only on Fox Sports Net. 25-21. There's the scoring. UCLA 6 for 27 from three range in their first two games. Oregon has been brilliant, but tonight the Bruins are doing the better of the two, but still plenty of time to go. Inside Crosswhite, he had a shot blocked, but catches the block and scores. Seven for Crosswhite. That's when Arizona started to pull away from UCLA yesterday. Channing Fry, big people for Arizona, killed UCLA in the painted area. There was no defender a lot of times, like on that play by Crosswhite. You've got to, got to protect the basket. I can't stress that too much. The guys start floating around out of the paint. Jackson on the corner. Thompson threw it away, but he was shoved prior to. The foul will be called on the Oregon Ducks. And, you know, you talked about what Ernie Kent talked about. When UCLA goes through one of their low periods, you've got to capitalize and drive it at them and, and, and really make them pay. Oregon didn't really do that. UCLA didn't play well for about a five-minute stretch there. And uh, the Ducks didn't really take advantage of it like they possibly could have. Ryan Walcott in the game to play the point. And a foul is called. It will go against Crosswhite. His second foul. He's played well, and now they're going to have to him to the sideline and bring in redshirt freshman Matt Short, the seven-footer. Lose a little offense there and regain some defense. Matt Short out of Wairica, California, Northern California, town of about 7,000 people. He said when his high school games were played, you could rob a bank and nobody would know about it. Everybody's at the game. Watching Matt Short. Watching Matt Short. But. 
In this league, we have Matt Short and Robert Little, and they're both big <laughs> postmen. Misnomer Ms. special. <laughs> there is Luke Skywalker. Frodo Baggins, the curly hair, the Pete Maravich one with basketball tape growing up. He's been kind of quiet tonight. He hasn't, uh, and he, he was quiet last night, halftime last night, and they're going to get Arizona State nine points, no assist. You know, very uncharacteristic for Luke Widnow to have a nary assist by halftime. Joseph with some room, but then he's doubled in the corner. Anderson kicks it out of bounds, and it's saved by Luke Jackson. He saved, made some marvelous hustle plays in this game. Now a fine he pass does. to Davis, and Davis nails the three. And that's what you love about Luke Jackson, the avid outdoorsman. He set that screen that freed up Ridenour to shoot the ball over Thomas Smith, but then dove into the seat to save the ball that leads to a three-pointer by James Davis that gives his team the lead. After they beat Arizona State by one point, he came over here and said, Mr. Fiziak, would you not call me the avid outdoorsman with the feathery touch? And then he laughed. They were having so much fun after the win over Arizona State. And he's a great young man who loves the outdoors from a very small town, Creswell, Oregon. A standing baseball player, pitcher, great hitter. And he's quite a hunter, I understand, as well. UCLA within one of the Oregon Ducks. Jay Anderson will be at the free throw line. And do you know who his hero is? Jay Anderson, who will go to the free throw line. If you put a, a mustache on him, wouldn't he look like Larry Bird, his hero? A yeah. Bit? Yeah, he's a little better than Larry Bird, I think. <laughs> Minnesota. That's why he wears the hair that way. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got you. I see it, I see it now. You had to hit me to it, but uh, he's like the first player out of Minnesota to ever play for the University of Oregon. Ryan Hellquist is the first player out of Florida. I mean, there's a lot of firsts. He's going for Ernie Kenny. <laughs> he is scouring the country near and far. He's done a great job, and they've got talent. some talent coming in next year, including one of the top point guards in the nation. A.B. Aaron Brooks. A.B. I've watched him play since he was a ninth grader. Seattle Franklin High School. Oregon has a three-point lead. Ernie Kent has done a fine job withstanding the quickness of Ray Young. This is my bridge. This is my building. And this is my truck. For people that care about getting the job done right, we built the Toyota Tundra better from the ground up. This is Labatt Blue, the clean, crisp lager imported daily from Canada. Its refreshing, honest taste comes from a... Oh, Sorry! God. My bad, my bad. I got carried away a little. Uh, we're going to need another blue over here. This one's spilled. Can we get another blue, please? Cold, like this one. The best damn sports show, period. Sports television like you've never seen it before. Four idiots sitting around talking sports. Great television. Weeknights and late night on Fox Sports Net. Right now, all this guy's thinking about is getting home so he can let his dog out. He's late. So it's fair to assume that he's not thinking about his Cooper tires and all they're doing to help him get home. No, all he's thinking about is his new rug and Benny's small bladder. Hold on, Benny. Oh, buddy. Hold on there. Yeah, I'll be home in a minute, buddy. Hold on. Every day, thousands of Californians come to Cash Creek, where winning is everything. Where we've just added 500 new slots. Don't forget, blackjack, bingo, poker, and pie gal poker. Plus, new members receive a free gift and a free million dollar slot pool for joining the Cash Club. Come to Cash Creek Indian Bingo and Casino in the heart of the Cape Valley, off Highway 16, where winning is everything. Welcome back to the Pacific Life Pac-10 semifinals. Oregon by three. Here are the Honda Pilot brackets. You see UCLA knocking off Arizona. So there they are. And we will have USC who beat Stanford and California who beat Oregon State 
in the semifinals. Time now for our Xerox New Way replay. Xerox, there's a new way to look at it. Just a great job hustling by Luke Rittenauer to kick by Anderson and then watch, excuse me, Luke Jackson and then watch Jackson a little no-look bullet pass to James Davis who UCLA just cannot seem to understand, can knock down three-point shots because they leave them wide open. Staples Center for the Pacific Life Pac-10 Tournament. Quarterfinals yesterday, and in the first rounds, two lower seats, UCLA knocked off Arizona and Oregon. They were able to get by Arizona State, so here they're meeting in the semifinals. Steve Fiziak with Marcus Johnson and Jim Watson. It's eight seed UCLA, five seed Oregon. And Steve, I know Oregon, they score 82 points a game. They like to go up and down, but yeah, I think it behooves UCLA to get them into a transition game. You get the crowd into it. This crowd, I don't, you know, you don't get that, that home court advantage that UCLA should have here with an LA crowd. And I think a lot of it has to do with the style of play. Give Ernie Kim credit. I mean, they're packing it in in the zone, kind of walking the ball up the floor. They're not even really looking to get in the transition also. So it's up to UCLA to force the issue. TJ Cummings at the free throw line. Made the first to make it a two-point game. This Oregon half-court defense is tough to score against. You see they got TJ to the free throw in that possession. And if I'm on the kid, I love where I am right now. Luke Wittenauer, Luke Jackson, two points, four points respectively. And you have a one-point lead. Rittenauer for three. Well, you know it's just a matter of time before the two loops heat up. I mean, Rittenauer last night, nine points, kind of a... Slow first half, wound up shooting the heck out of the ball in the second half. Dejon Thompson way off. But again, that's the second time he's taken a, a three-pointer that has missed badly. But that's what this kind of offense kind of lulls you into long jump shots. Here's Rittenauer, you can't give him any space at all. Walcott does a good job fighting over the screen, but then gives Rittenauer much too much of a cushion on the outside. He will pull it no matter. I mean, he gets past midcourt. You need to be up on him. Oregon on a 10-2 run the last two minutes. Jay Anderson, pretty good outside shooter, misses. Cummings rebounds and gets it to Ray Young. Left side, Thompson. This is where he is doing yeah, his best work it. this year. Yeah, that's what I mean. You gotta go, and that's where he's most effective. Open court, isolated against a bigger player, as opposed to him. Wow. You know, he has such a quick shot. The yeah, defense yeah. isn't ready, and it's out of his hands. Yeah, and yeah, he does a great job of decoying. He never looks at the basket, never lets you know he's about to shoot the ball. He's got a serve hand. But there's Dijon again. Open court, left wing, ISO in transition, working. Yeah, you don't want to have to try and pass it around 10, 12 times to wind up with a long jump shot. You get Dijon Thompson isolated. He can take most big guys in this conference off the dribble. But then, and right now you talked about that quick release. It's kind of times it so when you jump at the defender, it's already gone. The what thing I think that bothers Ernie Kent the most after a made basket, your transition defense should be very good. And it's been poor the last two possessions with Thompson scoring. And now he scored their last five points to stay within two. Yeah, and what's happening, the, the, the initial transition defensive thrust is good, but you got a big guy firing out at Dijon Thompson on the wing, and you, you know, you're playing right into Dijon's hands when that happens. Rittenauer, he's feeling it, misses this shot, and Capono with the rebound. Capono shoves it over to Young, and Young floating it in the lane to T.J. Nice. Cummings, and it's just tearing apart the Ducks inside. They're playing faster. I mean, it's no more of this moving around the outside, 10 passes before we look to score. It's push it, try and penetrate. If they cut me off, somebody's going to be open. Jackson's got to help out. Defense slow, sagging back down on T.J. You get the crowd involved. You get your guys juiced up. You get a nice flow going to your game. And good job by TJ not to commit the traveling violation. Hold that pivot foot, finish off the play. And because of that, Ernie Kent will take out one of his top offensive stars in James Davis and bring in a true freshman by the name of Brandon Lincoln. Gives him some size and some defense as well, but doesn't shoot the ball as well as Davis. There's James with the seat. And now Oregon has seen UCLA come back to 
take the lead at 35-34. Five minutes to play. And first shoot, half. Uh, Lincoln doesn't shoot it as well as Davis, but he's you know, knocked down nine of his 19 three-point attempts. So he hadn't shot a lot of them, but he's pretty effective. I like him. He's very composed for a freshman. They got Jackson isolated, but he misses the fade. And the Bruins trying to push it again. Push it. Look for that first good shot. Young. He hits. Not a crowd. Crowd's involved now. Now you can now you can feed off of some of this stuff. Places like a morgue about three minutes ago. UCLA with a 9-0 run the last 60 seconds. Ridnour almost has it stripped by Walcott. And here's, and here's where Oregon's got to play smart, settle down, execute out of this Luke and Luke pick and roll has been a bread and butter play for this team all year long because of the intelligence of both players. Well, and Ridnour just cut through that defense and had a wonderful pass inside of Robert Johnson, and they had to hold him, so a foul is called on UCLA. But nobody holding Ray Young right there. Ray in transition. Shoot the first good look you get at the basket. I'm a big believer of that with this particular team because of, of the personnel of this team and then the cumulative basketball IQ of this team. I mean, look at the first 21 games. His assistant coach, Jim Sias, said he's a hard six in Vegas. He's capable of 20 or going 0 for 12. Well, he's been on a run the last eight games. That's been incredible. Robert Johnson pulls his way in and scores. Johnson had a big game in their win last night. 13 points, 11 rebounds. But, you know, Ray Young going against guys like Tracy, not Tracy Gray, but Kobe Bryant in the summertime on a daily basis. You know, he, he, he coming in, he was confident. He lost that early and now just got it back seven games ago. And Rittenauer. Don't sleep. I went to the as a, as, a, as a coach, Steve Lavin, what else can you tell you guys? You know that Luke Rittenauer is coming down, looking to shoot that shot. Ryan Walcott backed up near the free throw line for what? You got a meeting above the three-point line. Matt Short fouling Dijon Thompson, and Rittenauer comes right over to Matt Short and says, Matt, give him room. We want him to take the outside shot. But that is the third foul on Matt Short, so he will have to come out for the Larry Bird-like Jay Anderson. He's not only the poor man's Larry Bird, he is the homeless person's Larry Bird. You know what? <laughs> that wasn't even nice. Hey, Larry Bird, man. You, you will on. never be invited to Faribault, Minnesota. <laughs> Thank God, but Larry Bird, <laughs> man. <laughs> they say that there's a trio. Luke Ridnour, Matt Short, Jay Anderson, all are Larry Bird fans. Okay, Yaka, take it over. Uh, you know, play defense or, or uh, Yaka. Hey. <laughs> Yaka, Yaka, Yaka. You know what it takes to reach your goals in life. You're ready to meet any challenge, no matter how great. It takes persistence, performance, 